Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Francisco Lazaro. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. No, porque... Ok, ok, somos 10 ya. Vamos a compartir pantalla. Hold on, please. Ok, there we go. Ok, um, 11, bueno, somos 10, con 10 empezamos. Ok, guys, so we're going to make today a recap. Hold on, please. Recap is kind of review. Okay, but first, oh, let me see to share this screen. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, we're going to start from here. Selena, could you please read this? Uh, in this session, participants will note, identify, and use conjunction, so in as and but thought and forever. Uh -huh. Excellent. Conjunction tal es como y pero aunque sin embargo, such as, okay. And, que sería ahí, but, pero, thought, okay, and however. Okay, let's go to see. But first, we're going to listen this. Vamos a escuchar esto. Hi, nice to see you again. This time, we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please, stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use and to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. 
Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before and? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. Okay, guys. Let me just. We're going to analyze the video because I know that it was uh, really kind of fast and it's kind of confusing. It is a little bit, has a little bit confusion. Vamos a analizarlo un poquito porque se puede causar un poco de con, de, okay. confusión. Okay. So, as it said before, como dijo en el inicio, it is this one, this lesson. What is it about? Okay. It is three conjunction. Three different, okay? It is but and, que significa e, to separate something. Yes, for example, I have a cell phone and a laptop. Yes, yeah, cell phone, cell phone and a laptop. And it will be e, okay? But it means un pero. But my laptop doesn't work. Pero mi computadora no sirve, no funciona. Okay, thought, okay, thought. My smartphone, it works. Aunque mi, okay, a pesar que uno no funcione, yes. Aunque mi celular si funciona, okay. However, I don't like that my laptop doesn't work. Sin embargo, no me gusta que mi computadora no sirva. Okay, now let's go from the next and let's go to analyze the video. Okay. After the explanation, oh, we want you to practice. So and the weather is nice. Okay. It is an exciting city. Okay. Está escribiendo. And the weather is nice. Y el clima es bueno, ¿verdad? Okay. It's a big city. But, pero, pero, it's not too big. Okay. No es. There is a conjunction. It is a big city. It's not too big, though. Yo sé que suena decirlo raro, decirlo al final, ok, porque nosotros lo, dijimos, lo dijéramos, aunque, aunque no es demasiado grande, ¿verdad? Ok, it's a big city, it's not too big, though. Ok, it's a big city, it's not too big, however. El however lo pone aquí como el final, gramaticalmente. Podemos ponerlo de ambas maneras, nosotros decimos, una contraparte, sin embargo, sin embargo, y continuamos con la oración. Ok, but let's continue with this. Ok, hold on, please. Um, just hold on a minute. I'm just having some system issue. Hold on, please. Okay, there you go. Okay. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. Okay, hold on. We use and to connect two positive or two negative ideas. Okay, listen. To connect. Okay, vamos a conectar. So we're connected ideas. Yes. There are two different ideas. And the end, the word end, it helps us to connect something. Okay, there are two different ideas. Okay, those different, so we're connected. It's a connection word. Okay. Well, let's go to see. Yes, for example, 
The city's ugly and small. It doesn't matter if it's a negative or if it's a positive, okay? It's just to hear it is connected to something, okay? Now, we're going to continue. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction and. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. So it says here, if it's true, we're just say, saying, any, um, we're just already talking about an idea or we're already making it in a sentence, but it says we can give extra information, okay? For example, let me see. I study every day, uh, I teach, I play with the kids, and I have two jobs, okay? I want piece de algo. Okay, and it continues going up. Yes, so it's working like that. That's a conjunction. I know that it sounds weird to memorize porque tengo que hacer conjunction, por eso les insisto siempre, esto va a venir por añadidura y con el tiempo automáticamente. Okay. Did you notice which punctuation goes before and? That's right, a comma. The punctuation, it's always necessary. This is important if you want to write in a good grammar. The city is ugly. Coma, that was my first idea. Boom, coma, right? And small period, okay? It's the same in Spanish. You have some rules. You are not going to follow, for example, uh, no sé si ustedes han visto que una, 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 a ustedes no les ha pasado que una coma lo, lo cambia completamente. No, no, no he visto. No. Sí, sí, ya lo he visto. Okay. Just let me see something. Quiero compartirles algo. Okay, déjame de compartir. Just let me show you something. Okay, let's just, I'm going to share you something que me parece muy bonito. Para que entiendan lo importante. Ok. Uh, ok. Now, let's go to see this one. Uh, ok. Quiero enseñarles algo muy bonito. Tal vez que vean la clase. Y puede que esto sea contraproducente que se los muestre, ¿verdad? Pero siempre se los muestro a mis alumnos. Ok. Just hold on. Could you please read this, uh, Carlos Domínguez? Hola, hola. Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm Could you program, please? I'm program yesterday um, platform. Soon, I don't know. No worries, no worries. Let's continue. Le estoy enseñando lo importante que es la, la, la puntuación. Could you please read this? Okay. Um, start. An uh -huh. English prof An English? No lee lo que estoy poniendo aquí. Um, lo que está en un cuadro negro. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Read A it. A woman with, without her man is nothing. Stop. Okay. Check, take a look. Y dígame, chicas, están de acuerdo. A woman, coma, without her man, sin su hombre, it's nothing. No es nada. ¿Están de acuerdo? No, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. But continue, please. Natalie, read the next one. A woman without her man is nothing. You see that it's the same sentence? A woman, los dos puntitos, ¿qué pasa con la mujer? Without her, sin ella, man is nothing. <laughs> so, it is the total the opposite. <laughs> okay, so that's why it says punctuation is powerful. Es la misma eh, oración. Bien, si lo leen, me corrió. A woman with her man is nothing. A woman with her man is nothing. Okay, but this punctuation, a woman, coma, coma, and the other one, without her, comma, man is nothing. You see? 
Ok, solo él quería dar, mostrar lo importante que puede ser una coma. Ok, no, 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 se, no se enfoquen, ¿verdad? Está para los dos, así que es gracioso. Ok, there we go. Now, let's Teacher, go. una consulta. Ok. Now. ¿Lo, lo? Ok, now, it is important... Uh -huh. Yes. Lo siento, solo tenía una duda. ¿Cómo se dicen los dos puntos cuando estamos viendo lo anterior que usted estaba compartiendo y quiere dar a entender las dos ideas separados por punto, coma o dos puntos? ¿Cómo se puede eh, decir that, en inglés? Sí, that the coma, the coma, o two periods. Creo que es two periods, sí, yes. dos puntos. Period, period. Ya se lo busca, se me quedó en duda. Mm, semicolon, teacher. Semicolon es, no, pero la, los dos puntos. Semicolon es punto y coma. But the two, I don't remember right now. Two dots, no, I don't know. Después se los busco. I don't remember right now. I don't remember, to be honest. Para ser honesto, no lo recuerdo ahorita. No está bien, teacher. Ok, no, pero ya lo vamos a ver de igual manera. That's right, a coma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence. Okay, connects a positive idea with a negative. Okay, and it goes in the middle of a sentence. Miren, the typical form. When, for example, you always, that's why usually people say, siempre tenés muchos pero. Si, si quiero ir, pero. Yes, I want to go, but, but, but. I can't because, okay, I want to go to the party, but I can't because I had to take care of the kids. So there is always a negative, okay? That's the famous but. Por eso dicen siempre tenés un pero para todos. An idea with a negative. It is a connection. Yes, a typical pero. So it is that. Okay, and it says that it goes on the middle one. Yes, the park is clean with a coma. Yes, and then comes, but it is very small. Okay, is it, um, I don't know if it's uh, now, ¿se entiende mejor? Yes? Okay, let's continue. And a coma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. Though and however, these two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Okay. And Can you write one sentence using though and it's not too crowded? In these two, if you can see. We use it in Spanish in a different way. It's a big city that it's not too crowded though, okay? It's un aunque. If it's true, we use a different Spanish form, I know. Y al final le pusieron aquí como tal, okay? Now, he's really good looking, okay? He's not nice, however, okay? Se ve bien, okay? And it is he's not nice, however. Okay, at the end, sin embargo, un sin embargo al final, okay? Mm -hmm. Or it would be, his, es como un, de verdad se ve muy bien, sin embargo, no es una buena persona, okay? Now, until the moment, is there any uh, questions until the moment? No? Teacher, okay, yes. How did you say yes, though? teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How did you say in Spanish though? Aunque. 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 Yo, respecto al do y al however, eh, está diciendo que hace referencia al do cuando queremos decir algo en, como una idea o una oración o algo en positivo y el however si en caso estamos como negando algo o estamos como queriendo dar una idea 
eh, negativa de algo o una opinión diferente. Se puede usar así. Esa es la referencia que se hace. Y la segunda, ¿por qué el, se utiliza el do al final? Al final? Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo que se llama? Bye. Oh, yo apologize. El do, por el hecho que me pregunto por qué se utiliza al final, no lo sé, porque yo, sin embargo, también lo he utilizado en medio. Por ejemplo, uh, I don't like to be with my mother. However, sin embargo, however, I like to be with my nephews and my sisters. Sin embargo, si me gusta estar con mis sobrinitos y con mis hermanas. Ok. I use it at the middle one. Pero también se utiliza al final. However, sin embargo, I have never used dog. Okay, and I don't have, I, or I can tell you exactly the explanation why are they using uh, told at, at the end, okay? Just hold on, vamos a ver. If you want me, we can, we can look at here, okay? Es decir, no importa si se usa en medio de la oración, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. The thing that I... Eh, no, 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 es, no es incorrecto. I, I mean, told, yo lo he visto en medio de la oración también. And however, I always use in however in the middle of the sentence. I do. Porque para mí es muy confuso hacerlo al final. For me. Yes. Because you are giving an idea. For example, I like to teach. However, I don't like to teach on nights. Okay. Or I like to teach. Okay. But. Ahí va lo negativo. But I don't like to teach on nights. Okay. I like to teach. I don't like to teach on nights, though. Okay, but it's, para mí suena más raro hacerlo al final, soy sincera. Yo se lo recomendaría más que todo, however, hacerlo como en medio. Okay. That's my recommendation. Now, besides that, any other question? Oh, but, 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 remember. Teacher, that, yes. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what is the difference between the pronunciation of doubt, aunque, and the pass of the verb pensé, I, I doubt. What Tobt. is the difference of pronunciation? Doubt, y la otra yo noté, doubt. Y una es con la más, eh, se pronuncia más marcada, th, th, doubt, doubt, and the other is doubt. Okay, una se escucha la okay. T, es diferente, el thought. I thought that, okay, I thought. Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. No worries. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's go to start. Who wants to start with this? Type pay. Quien quiere empezar? Yeah, teacher. Go ahead. Yes. To pay is very nice. Um, everyone is extremely friendly. What will you use? ¿Qué utilizaría usted? Dígame lo que eh, La número uno. ¿Por qué? Eh, haciendo referencia al an y el but, eh, entiendo que el but, al, pienso que es como pero. O sea, está haciendo en mi pensar es como una mención de estoy aceptando eso, pero a la misma vez existe esto. Y si veo a la parte de an, Es como una conexión entre las dos ideas, pienso. O oh, en el núcleo de la oración, pienso que es así, ¿está bien? Yes, excellent. And in fact, and in fact, that's up to you and your perception. For example, vino Luisito Comunica, okay? El Salvador, it's, it's very nice. I just want to do it like that, okay? El Salvador is very nice, uh, but everyone is extremely friendly or everyone is extremely social okay or the opinion si viene ah el sabor is pretty nice but everyone por qué porque no quieren estar con un montón de gente y artistas que no les gusta estar con un montón de gente by the other hand por otro lado hay artistas o personas que sí les gusta now let's go back with my example of the classes hay personas que no pueden dormir en la noche y dice i like to teach Really? So are you teaching? Yes, I like I, I teach and also I teach on nights. Y lo dice con dos ideas para el positivas. O ella para las positivas. But if I say that, 
I like to teach, but I teach on nights. Ya implica algo negativo. I have to teach on nights. So, ya se, es depende de la percepción también y cómo ustedes vean su idea. Okay, for example, guys, who likes to play football? Carlos, do you like to play soccer? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, like there that. are some jobs que les imponen a que tienen que jugar fútbol en el trabajo. Okay, algunos trabajos que dicen, no, tienes que practicar una actividad. Y si no, la persona no encaja, ¿verdad? So, I could say, I love my job. Yes, I usually enter at 8 a.m. But I have to play soccer. Para mí, qué horrible, es una idea puchi que tengo que jugar fútbol. Pero viene Carlos y dice, I love my job. Yes, I entered it. And also, I, 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 I guess I have to play soccer on that. So it's really great. And I have to great so play soccer. Para él fue en, nos está contando algo mm -hmm. bueno. For me, it's uh, what I want. So it's your perception also. Okay. Also, talking about women or male, for example, if you say, like, a man, I like Carlos. It's just an example. I like Mauricio. I can't the number. I like Mauricio. He's very tall, okay? I, I, uh, I like Mauricio. He's handsome. He's, uh, he's uh, not skinny. He's handsome. He has brown hair. He has green eyes, but he is tall. Pero es alto. Or, but he's short. Pero es bajo. Mm -hmm. Para mí es soy alto. Para mí es bajo. Pero viene Lizeth y dice, uh, I like this, 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 this guy, and he's short. ¿Por qué? Porque le es pequeña. Para mí fuera un bat. Para ella fuera N. Okay. Now, continue, please, Brenda Sandoval. Okay. Uh, number two. The strays are crown is raised to iron and thrown. Yo diría que es el nombre, eh, sería la opción tú. La opción tú. Bueno, ¿Cómo la haría? Eh, ¿Perdón? ¿Cómo la hiciera usted? This trade cross is raised to get iron strong. Ok, the streets are crowded, it's easy to get around. Ok, the streets are crowded and it's easy to get around. Ok, guys, what do you think about? ¿Qué piensan? ¿Cuál sería la una o la dos? The second. Number the second. two. Why, guys? ¿Alguien más que me puede decir eso? ¿Por qué? Mm. Because the first, the first uh, sentence is negative, and the second sentence is positive. And yeah. you use uh, though, though, uh, is sing, singing, aunque, aunque. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly, because it doesn't make sense. The first one, it doesn't make sense, no tiene sentido. The streets are crowded and it's easy to get around. ¿Cómo es posible que? And it's easy. Crowded, it means que hay mucha gente, ¿verdad? It doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido. The other one says the streets are crowded. Okay. It's easy to get around to aunque, ¿verdad? And the other one is also and porque serían dos cosas positivas. Y aquí fue como que le puso algo, aunque es algo bueno, ¿verdad? Excellent. Number two is correct. That sounds correct. Okay. Now, let's continue with uh, there's another. Yes, Joaquin Manzanero. Go ahead. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Which one? Ah, by the way, I'm sorry. Vamos solo a corregir algo. Se me pasó por alto. Todos van a repetir conmigo esto. Okay. The streets are crowded. The streets the are, street crowded. are crowded. Okay. 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 
Ok, the street, todos por favor, ¿verdad? The streets are crowded. The streets are crowded. Ok. It's easy to get around. It's easy, it's easy to, to get, get around. around. Get around. Excellent. Once again, it's easy to get around. It's, it's easy, easy to, to get, get around. around. Get around. Okay. Good. Solamente quería corregir eso, ¿verdad? Okay, remember, streets, crowded, crowded. Easy. 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 easy, around. 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 Okay, now, continue, please, Manzanero. The weather is nice. Continue. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. I think... The first one. The first, the first one. Yes. Okay. Why? Uh, because they mentioned the mention the weather is, is very nice, but uh, the is how to like to negative because uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's nice, but it's very, mm -hmm. very hot, no? Exactly. There you go. The weather is nice <clears throat> and summers get pretty hot. No es como tan bonito que sería, ¿verdad? The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. However, sin embargo, ¿verdad? Como que algo negativo, sin embargo, sucede esto. Okay? That's not something positive. Okay? Siempre hay como sin embargo. Okay? Now, let's going to continue. Okay, let me see. Natalia Ortega, go ahead, number four. Ah, by the way, I'm sorry. Repeat with me. The weather is nice. The weather, the weather is, is nice. nice. The weather is nice. The weather is nice. The weather is nice. Excellent. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. Summer Summer get summers get pretty, pretty hot, 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 however. however. Excellent. The weather is nice and summers get pretty hot. The, the weather, weather, the weather is, is nice. Summer gets pretty hot. Very good. Excellent. Ortega, please. Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. What does it mean bargain? Alguien que sepa el significado de bargain? Negociar. Negociar. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Negociar. Mm, I think that option one, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. Yes. It's something negative. Because it says, mm -hmm. and you have it all, it says, imponiendo, which it doesn't make sense. But there is a but in Peru. Ah, but you have to bring in the markets. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Who else? Let me see. Uh, Jennifer Berrios. We don't repeat. Ah, ¿qué pasó? We don't repeat the number four. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> shopping is great. Repeat, please. Shopping, shopping is great. Shopping is great. Shopping is great. Shopping is great. But you have to bargain in the market. But, but you have to bargain in the market. In the market. In the market. In the market. Uh, now repeat. Shopping. 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 Great. 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 Bargain. 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 Market. Markets. 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 Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Jennifer Berrios. <laughs> okay. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. Um, I think is that the correct is um, the number two. Yes. Claro que todos queremos algo ahora. Yes, the food is delicious and it's not too expensive. Okay, repeat with me. <clears throat> food. 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 Okay. Now, be careful with something, something guys. Be... Just hold on, please.
Ok. There you go. Si quieren activar su micrófono, activenlo. Solo fue para que eh, guardar un poco de silencio ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. So it says here, tengan cuidado con la pronunciación en esto. Because usually people say at the beginning, the food is delicious. El pie es delicioso. Be careful, guys. El food is a pie, ¿verdad? Okay, so be careful, food. Now repeat with me. Do not say food. Say food. 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 Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Too expensive. Too expensive. expensive. Excellent. Very good, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. 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 Now, there you go. Quien quiera activar el audio, activelo tranquilamente, ¿verdad? Okay. There you go. Ya identifique. Now, let's going to continue with the next one. Okay. Let's go to pay attention. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? What? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, guys, help me with something. <clears throat> is it me or the resolution is not good enough? <laughs> the resolution is not, you know. It's oh, very uh, interesting. Okay, it all I was like, really exciting. I do apologize. Yes. yes, I just got nervous and I was like, what? It's just on me. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to read it and you're going to repeat me. Let me yeah. just go. And go to the Palace of Fine Art. Can. Okay, you're going to repeat after me. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Mexico City. A little about Mexico City. Now repeat. Sure, I can. Sure, I can. Sure, I can. I can. I can. What would you like to know? What would you like to know? Like, no, no. Okay. What's good time to visit? What's a good time? What's a good time to visit? To visit. Okay. I think you can go anytime. I think, I think you, can you can go, go anytime. anytime. The weather is always nice. The weather, the weather is always, weather nice. Weather is always, always nice. nice. What should I see there? What should I, I see, see there? there? Okay. See there. You should definitely visit the National Museum. You should, you should, you should definitely, definitely visit the, the, National the, National the, National the National Museum. The National Museum. Okay, let's stop. Repeat with me. Definitely. 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 Museum. 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 Okay. Okay, there you go. Definitivamente, definitely. Okay. You shouldn't miss the pyramid. You shouldn't, you shouldn't miss the pyramid. The pyramid. I mean, pyramid. Okay. Repeat with me. It all sounds really exciting. It all sounds really exciting. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. There you go. Now, repeat once again with me. Exciting. 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 Okay, there you go. Okay. Les hago repetir las palabras para cuando las lea sea más, ¿verdad? Okay, okay, okay. Now, basically, let's go to recap this. If you um just recently noticed some cosas pequeñas that are small things that are grammatical, yes, 
but as I already told you several times, you are just going to know this step by step, just reading or listening. Okay, it's not exactly that you have to memorize, but at least you have to memorize um, probably the commas and the order. Eso sí, lo que es una coma lo cambia completamente. Un punto cambia completamente. Okay, so yes, please, that will be okay. Now, could you please? Uh, let me see. ¿Quién me pasado? Lorena Alonso, could you please read this? In this section, model verbs can and should will be down in the order to ask and answer As questions. Answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Now say answer. Answer. An answer. answer. Porque no se pronuncia answer. Es un error, sino que se correctamente se pronuncia answer. Okay. Answer. Answer. Excellent. Answer. Okay, now the next one. Quítenle la L. Should. 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 Okay, be careful to not say should. No es una T. Okay, in this case, it's something like a D. Should. Now, should. fast, it will be should. 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 There you go. Should. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Now, okay, now, repeat with me. Taut. Taut. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now let's going to continue with this one. Models. Esto también es importante. Vamos a verlo. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called model verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay. Okay, we'll talk about the model verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus model verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Okay, let's going to leave that. Okay, let me just do here. Now, remember that is, by the way, by the way, un paréntesis, no sé quién preguntó eh, lo de los dos puntos, pero igual, el punto y coma si es semicolon, and the other was just colon. Okay, so it's colon, los dos puntos. Now, always remember that if it's a question, si es una pregunta, we're going to start with the WH questions, right? Always, always, always. ¿Por qué? Porque es una pregunta. Okay, and then comes the model. En este caso se le llama gramaticalmente, we call them models to can and should. Ojo, do not confuse the can as a verb, okay? Or do not confuse the can as a, as a model. And even do not confuse it as a noun. Can you, can you open the panel for that, okay? Yes, okay, there you go. Yes, I'm just, can you? Okay, for example, it will be like something like, can you help me? It will be different, okay? Can you help me? Me podrías ayudar. Es una forma polite de decir. You won't say, hey, Joaquin, help me. No, y es un señor. Hello, Mr. Joaquin, uh, could you please help me? Or can you? Help me, please. Okay. It's a model. It's a model. Okay. Now, estructura. As usual, every sentence or better say, 
Um, any questions is to start with a delete question. Es una pregunta. Then remember that it comes, usually comes the auxiliar. Usualmente viene con un auxiliar. Where did you? Where do you? Where are you going to? Uh, where have you? And in this case, instead of an auxiliary, it says a ¿cómo se llama? model. What should? Okay. Take just play. Let, just let's uh, pay attention to this one. Okay. What can? Let me see. What can now? Okay. Now, what did? What did I do? What did I play? Okay. What uh, did I see? Yeah. What did I watch? Better to say. Y estoy utilizando el past. Y aquí lo mismo. What should I? Esto es todavía sin moral. ¿Qué debería? Okay. El moral should es como puede ser también utilizado como un consejo. You should go to your, uh, you should, call, should go to buy some flowers. Okay. What should I buy? What should I do? Asking regarding to an advice. Respecto a un consejo, podría decir. Okay. En este caso, le pregunto como un consejo. Hmm, what should I see there? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué debería, debería ver o qué podría? Yes. ¿Qué podría? Ver. You should visit. Deberías. ¿Qué podría ver ahí? ¿Qué debería ver ahí? You should. Es mi recomendación. Okay. I won't say, no voy a decirle, you can visit. Of course you can. Una cosa, what should I see there? You can visit. Es que yo no me pregunto, puede ir. I'm asking about a recommendation. I'm asking about an advice. Estoy pidiendo una recomendación o un consejo. For example, uh, dígame una parte cara de, de México. Ok, Los Santos. Voy a pensar en los antros. ¿Ah? For example, if someone asks in Cancun, it's just an example, okay? Uh, I'm going to go to Quintana Roo. What, what should I uh, visit there? Okay? Me están pidiendo exactamente algo. And I should say, like, uh, you should visit Playa Los, Delfir los Delfines. You should go to Los Cenotes, okay? That's the thing. But if you say you must or you can, una cosa es que yo pregunte, what can I do, okay? Porque ahorita estoy en Canadá, no sé cómo está el tiempo de, de Canadá ahorita o el clima. I'm going to go to Canada. What can I do there? Que puedo hacer eso? So, so me, actually, there is a bad weather right now. Uh, I think that nothing, but maybe you can go to, pero también podrías ir. You can go to Niagara, I don't know, something, something like that. You can go, podría ir, ya que está el clima tan helado, ¿verdad? It's just an example. There are differences. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts, okay? Son dos diferentes, puedes verlas. You can't, aquí está. So, for example, right now, Playa Los Delfines in Mexico, Quintana Roo, it is already closed. It's not Playa Privada actualmente, cuando yo fui a la pública. So, you can visit Playa, I don't remember this one, but you can't visit Playa Los Delfines. And if you go, it's too expensive. Okay? ¿No entender? En una le está diciendo que pudiera ser y en otra, ¿qué debería ser? ¿Ok? It, it, ¿Does it make sense? No sé si tiene sentido. Yes, Natalie, yes, la veo perdida. Dígame. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, dígame, Natalie, hable. I got it. Mm, o sea, el can es lo que yo puedo hacer mm -hmm. o lo que yo podría. Mm -hmm. Y el should se ocupa como para un consejo y es lo que debería de hacer. Excellent, very good. Okay. okay. Let me see. Vamos a ver de otra manera. Okay. 
coin. I, I never, I've never been there. I'm going to visit. Visit. I'm going to visit. Okay. I have never. Okay. Let's go to bring in a conversation. No, 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 gramática. That's great. That's great. That's great. You should, you should visit Playa. Playa del Carmen. You should visit Playa del Carmen. Okay. You should visit Playa del Carmen. Okay, excellent. Uh, the next one says, well, well, actually, I was thinking to go to Playa del Fines. Maybe. If I have time, if I have time, I, maybe I can go there. We can go in there. And the next one says, okay, then you should go. Actually, actually, coma, you can't, okay, you shouldn't, actually, you shouldn't be seen. You shouldn't go. Actually, you shouldn't go. You shouldn't go. You can't. You can't visit the beach. It's already. It's already closed. No se está bien así. Me ha quedado una duda por algo. Okay, I'm going to visit Mexico. I have never been there. Mm, that's great. Hey, you should visit Playa del Carmen and Quintana Roo. And the other one say, mm, well, I was thinking to go to Playa del Fines. If I have, if I have time, yes. If I have time, maybe I can go there. Okay. Tal vez pudiera ir así. Okay. Actually, the other person, actually, you should you shouldn't go. You shouldn't go. Okay. You shouldn't go. You can't visit it. You shouldn't go. You can't visit it. No puedes visitar. No puedes. No puedes hacerlo. I don't know how. No, I don't want to translate. It is the thing is that you can't visit it. The beach is already closed. Okay. You shouldn't visit. Uh huh. Actually, you can't go. Podría ser. You can't go there. Podría ser otra. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Okay. This thing. Okay. Uh huh. Actually, you can go there. Okay. What's all verbo teacher? Say. Uh, what do you do? Why ah, do you so say thank that? Uh-huh, thank you. Okay. Can I go there? Why can I go there? There. Double-edge question. Why can't I go there? The beach already closed. Already closed. Okay. Okay. Natalie, questions? No. Sure. I understand. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Guys? Thank you. Now, pay attention to this one. Also, I could say with Mr. Manzanero. Hello, Mr. Yeah, it's me. 
Manzanero. This. Can you please help me? Can you help me, please? Can you help me, please? This sofa is too heavy. Okay. Now, esa pudiera ser otra. Hello, Mr. Manzanero. Can you help me, please? This sofa is too heavy. Okay. What about it say, uh, yes, I can, but I don't have time. Pudiera ser. O sea, depende del contexto, ¿verdad? Or, no, I can't. I don't have time. Y no es que sea una mala persona. No, I can't. I don't have time now. No, I can't. I don't have time now. No tiene tiempo para el trabajo. So the thing here, it is that it says, can you help me? It's a model to make, to make something formal. Could you? Okay. Could you please help me? Can you? May you? Zira. Or Mirai, let's say, in that case. Ya eso lo vamos a ver, pero creo que se entienda más que todo el can y el should. Okay. El should también se entendió como un consejo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, I broke with my girlfriend yesterday. I didn't know what to do. El chico viene y le dice que me, me terminó. Yes. Hey, man, you should buy flowers. Yes. Let's uh, just, uh, I don't know, give her a serenata and send some flowers and chocolates. You should. Le está dando un consejo. Okay. Now. And what about if I just uh, give her a perfume? ¿Y qué si solo le doy un perfume? No, man, you shouldn't do that. She's going to think that you are trying to buy her. No lo hagas, va a pensar que solo está queriendo comprar con un perfume. Yes, you shouldn't do that. Okay, now let's going to continue. Now, regarding to this, I don't know if, uh, if we have questions about here. Because I don't want it to you guys that copy where plus word, what of each question word plus modal verb plus subject plus the verb plus question mark. Como les digo, eso viene por automáticamente. Ahí les puse los ejemplos. ¿Verdad? No sé si se lo borré ya. But, but I told you before, yes? Did you, where do you, etc., etc., etc. It's the same structures. Do not memorize. This is not formal. No hay formulas en sí. Okay? And things can always change. Entre más larga se haga, entre más fuerte las cosas siempre pueden cambiar. Okay, no questions about this one? No? Okay. So, this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Okay. The same here, positive sentence, it says, we should go to the museum. Subject, toda oración comienza con un sujeto. It says, uh, model verb, but remember that it's modifying here. Está modificando. You should go, you can go. Está haciendo algo que pudiera ser una acción, ¿verdad? Okay. You should go. Okay. We, I'm sorry, we should go. Pero también puedo decir, we, we are going to go to a museum. Okay. Or oh, we will go to a museum. ¿Qué lo vamos a hacer? But in this case, it was like kind of a dice hmm. or an idea. We should go to the museum. Yes. Hello. Okay, Quijano está algo perdido por lo que veo. Questions? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. you wrote uh, the beach already. And uh, the question is, it's not missing the, the is the beach is already closed. Yes, and in fact, siempre que escribo como escribo rápido, me como algunas palabras como, por ejemplo, me comí un verbo si se fijaron, corregí varias veces. I do apologize. Yes, and I have another question about the pronunciation. For example, mm -hmm. I listen hijo eh, is similar to sol, san. Oh, or oh, you have the uh, the pronounce the correct ah, pronounce. You mean you mean 
hijo y canción, son en song. Ok, son song. Ok. Ajá, um, no. Hijo y sol. Eh, es similar de pronunciación. Son. Yes. Es similar, yes. Son, yes. Yeah. Ok, yes, es similar. Guys, it is 8.59. I'm sorry. So, at this moment, I'm just going to the North class. So, take care, everyone. Goodbye, guys. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.